It's a huge outreach going on out here, as you can see. I don't know if you see everybody, but I can tell you it is going on. It's, uh, I just dropped off another little van loads coming here all day. Okay, so I'm on a mission, guys. <laughs> And let me tell you, you know, every day there are people out here that you need to be praying for. You need to. Hard. Hard. Just walking through the desert. 
desert with a crown of thorns stuck in your head. Right. A 600 pound cross on your shoulder. That's hard. Yes. While you're being whipped. Yeah. Yeah. And you know you're going to go be nailed up to that cross and whipped to death. That's between right. Between two common thieves, which I found out not too long ago, one of them repented as they were all hung. And now your mother's going to stand there and watch. Man, I, you really know your Bible, don't you? You know Nobody your history. Is... You know the history of Jesus and what happened now, on we, the cross. We have never had a hard day. No, not compared to that. But no. because he had that hard day, uh -huh. we have the life that we have today. Because none of us are exempt from sin that's None right. of us, whether you're a preacher or That's you're right. a drug addict. That's right. None of us are exempt from sin. That's right. The Bible says we all fall short. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Here's, We've all sinned. Here's the key. Unlocks the lock. Oh, man. Uh, uh, yes, I'm listening to this. I'm getting you on tape, too, if you don't mind. I'm okay with it. <laughs> now. Because Jesus Christ had that hard day for us. Yes. If we have ever committed any of the seven sins. Yes. If we have ever disobeyed any of the Ten Commandments. That's right. Which we are capable of doing, even conscious or not. Right. We can get on our knees and we can say, God, please forgive me. I did not mean to. But if you do it intentionally, and you intentionally do not get on your knees, your spirit is condemned to guilt, remorse, and regret for eternity. I need to ask you something. I need to ask you something, because you're not ignorant. You know your word. You know the Bible, and you know what it is to be real. There's a difference between your soul and your spirit. I, I gotta ask you. I, and your spirit is always God owned, period. Period. The devil ain't got nothing to do with your spirit ever. That's right. That's right. That's right. We that's may right. sell right. our soul to the devil to provide for our family. Right? Right? But God will still always own our spirit. I'm listening. And I'm listening. Continuously or ignorantly or intentionally do wrong to people, there is some unforgiven sins now. Well, let me, let Most me, sins are forgiven. You and me know this word very well, I could tell. And now you've been on the street for how long, would you say? Six years. Six years. That's a long time. That's a long time, my goodness. What are we going to do to change that? Can can we get together and talk more about a plan? Maybe? I'm looking forward to it. All righty. Now, Sunday at 3 p.m., not only are we having church, but afterwards, we want to break bread and we want to talk about that plan. I mean, I really want to fellowship not only with this you, but any of your friends that you want to invite. I mean I, that from the bottom of my heart. What I would love to do... What's that? Because she does... Cool little tricks. Cool little tricks? That are, <laughs> that are, that come from outside of the box. Right. You know David Letterman. Right, 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 right. He does stupid pet tricks. Well, here's He's the thing. He's coming to the end of his career in February. Yes. I want to be on his last show. Aw, that's awesome. And I want that dog to amaze the world. With our story. Well, I can't wait for I can't wait for Lori to it's meet about you. Dedication. It's about integrity and it's about yes. determining. You know, it's yes. Come on, dude. Intensity. Well, come, well let's do this. Doing, dude. Let's, let's do this. this intense, let's do this. Let's bring your dog. Let's bring you and any friends you want to invite Sunday tomorrow. Black sheep. A lot of people feel like nobody cares. We care. I get both ends of the spectrum. You hear both ends, right? You I know what I'm talking about. I just love this. And I get people tell me, 
Get out of our city limits now. I know it. I know it. A lot of people are... Augustine, Mandora. They told me to get out of their city limits now. Now, I'm, I'm heading towards a homeless camp right now. What am I doing wrong? I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> hey, I want to say thank right. you. Thank you so much, man. God bless you. God bless you. I'm going to run. I'm going to hit some homeless camps right now and invite Amen. some more people. Pastor Joe. <laughs> Joe's good. God bless you, man. All righty. <laughs> hey, I'll see you later. Well, Sonny and Will. Sonny and Will? She's more important than I am. Aw, <laughs> precious, precious.